Uh, it feels good. I mean, I, I felt like, you know, we always feel like we have a great home crowd and home court advantage, so to be able to take advantage of that through the season is, you know, speaks more of the home court advantage and the crowd and the fans, uh, fan support. But, you know, I think more than anything, I thought we put together a really good singles point today and coming off the loss to TCU where we were really outplayed and outmatched and, and weren't as competitive as I'd seen us this year. I thought we got back to being very competitive every point, kind of really hungry for every situation and did a good job of carrying that through today. We, we started, you know, we had won 13 in a row and we took the loss to TCU and we kind of felt like we had talked in the locker room and all week this match against New Mexico kind of started the second season and so I feel like we're 1-0 in our second season and you know, we'll go down to Big 12 and try to get a good run put together and try to lead that into postseason. And, and, and the way we look at it, you know, we still feel like we hopefully have 10 matches left. You know, we want to we want to be able to put to, together a long run and see where this thing can take us. And you know, kind of starting fresh from this point forward. Yeah, I mean, she's she's such a she's a great player. Uh, she's obviously been a part of some great teams and, and been a big impact on that. But she's a more special person than that. I mean, she's. Uh, and has an infectious uh, personality and someone who wants to be around and great team person and, and she's going to be super successful in life and uh, I've had a joy, you know, she's my type of kid and so I've had so much fun, you know, coaching her and being around her every single day. She's going to be greatly missed. So to see her win the doubles point today and get the clinch, you know, is, uh, is super fitting.